Warning, this podcast contains... Pain. Rats. Rats? <laughs> Hate rats? Tongue twister. Tongue twister. That's it. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC9 TV podcast for iZombie, season one, episode 12. Dead rat, live rat, brown rat, white rat. Dead rat, live rat, brown rat, white rat, dead rat. Uh, <laughs> I am your host, Dom. With me, my lovely co host, Kim, aka Huffity Puffity, aka B, aka Biera, aka I have no more AKAs. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I'm good. So things are starting to ramp up. Just just a little bit. Just, just, just. just. I mean, this episode is really boring. I almost fell asleep. I'm, no. This episode was insane. This this was better than every episode combined. We're finally getting really, really getting into like the, the story stuff. They brought back the guy I talked about right at the end of the, the, the last episode. Mm-hmm. So I was like, where is he at? What's going on? Now we know. They conveniently left him out of the synopsis uh, for this week's episode. So when they were like, oh, you know, the... I don't. I know what you did last summer, kind of murder thing. Didn't I actually say something about I know what you did last summer and last week? I think I did. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. But I that was that was the first thing I was thinking, and then they made the joke later, and I went, "Oh." <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, "I'm pretty sure I called that ahead of time." But yeah, um, it seemed very horror esque movie like that. But it yeah, there was that. There was um, there was just so much. So I guess let's start with the case itself. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, the the I don't remember his name. What's his name? The the uh, kidnapper lives kidnapper from like two weeks ago. Uh, in the Mr. Berserk episode, like um, the creepy guy. <laughs> yeah, the one that was, like drank her blood. Technically, <laughs> he didn't drink her. Yeah, I guess he did. He stuck. Yeah, she's like, oh, this is my fault. I must have. I must have done. It. She was so upset. But I'm like, it you wasn't technically, yeah, technically you didn't. He kind of did it to himself. Right. Of course, on a note, he didn't know that she was a zombie, and he turned into a zombie. But mm-hmm. did you get for being creepy? Yep. Karma is a bitch. Yeah. So I mean, it was kind of cool because we got to see live on two different brains this episode, which something we hadn't previously seen. That was the the transition was interesting. I was I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. The, the, now they're doing two different brains. She went from being, and they were quite different. You got one that's all preppy and you know, woo, and then you got one that's high and on drugs and yeah, that wants to just lay what? around all day and do nothing. <laughs> and they're eat. complete polar opposites of each other. Yeah. So. so it was it was, and then she then she had to go right back to the other way, but. To me, it didn't seem like when she she went try to go back the other way. It didn't like it didn't like it didn't really like pick up. Like you didn't see the change. It back. Yeah, it may have been she was piggybacking off of both of them at the same time, kind of like it may have been a blended um kind of ordeal because we don't That's know a- we don't know how they wear off and how long yeah. it takes to wear off and um. That she could have two brains going on at the same time. Yeah. So they might have, like, almost canceled each other out to make some kind of, like, neutral mood. But I, I don't know, because we've never actually seen her on two at the same time before. This, you know, as we said no. before, this was the first, so. But, of course, we also went straight into all shit, you know, hitting the fan all over the place right there at the end. So when yeah. we just get that chance to really, you know, it was like, no, this we're going to have all this crap happen now. Yeah, that's true. And and there's also one one thing that we we can confirm for sure. Um and that is that Clive is not a zombie. No, Clive is not a zombie. And the reason <laughs> is because of his mushroom pizza. Remember? Remember he took a bite out of Liv's pizza? Oh, and ate yeah, the brains? Brain, yeah. Yeah. I, I never thought Clive was a zombie. Yeah. Well, some uh, some people out there may have, because we're at the, the point in the show where we're, like, suspecting every new character of being a zombie. True. But the one thing that we don't do is suspect characters that have been under our nose the entire time. So, 
That is an interesting thing to think. To because it goes back to this, we're like everyone's a zombie until proven differently. Right. And especially since you know everyone's been popping up. Oh, you're a zombie. Oh, you're a zombie. Oh, I'm like well, everyone's a zombie. Mm-hmm. But uh, um. I mean, Clive would be the perfect candidate to slip under the cracks as a zombie. Um, he wouldn't clearly be working for Blaine because mm-hmm. he's doing more good than he is bad. Yeah. I guess. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So he would kind of be like a renegade zombie like Liv is. But, yeah, he's definitely he's, not. I mean, the whole time, the way he's been acting and ev- with everything, unless he's, you know, acting, he seemed kind of pretty oblivious <laughs> to, to a lot. So, yeah. I mean, I for one never thought he was a zombie, but I know there are people out there that that were questioning it for for a little bit of time. Oh. Um. The, I don't know if did you ever watch um, Warehouse Thirteen by any chance? I watched a few episodes, but like I haven't sat do down you, and watched the entire thing. Do you know um, uh, the character Claudia Donovan? Mm-hmm. I am convinced that the the girl in the leather jacket in this episode is related to her because she looks so much like um i forget the actress's name now that plays claudia um i tweeted her today actually so i should know i actually um, saw that tweet that she yeah. made <laughs> i'm uh i'm going to look real quick uh i'm convinced that they're they're related somehow cuz i mean i looked it up and it's like uh Allison, 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 uh, Scagliotti, uh-huh. Scagliotti, um, she's, she's in a, a TV show called Stitchers, um, and I, I know it wasn't her, because she, at first in the opening scene, it looked like it could have been her, because it was dark, you couldn't really see much of her or whatever, um, but her voice sounded off. But then as uh, the episode went on, you get to see her, like, in, in daylight and, and better lighting and stuff like that. I could see it clearly wasn't her, but she had so many similar characters. It's, if, it's, if she's not related, it's her doppelganger. Her younger doppelganger. So, We've seen all the doppelgangers. Doppelgangers yeah. are everywhere. So, I'm, I'm waiting for the iZombie uh, wiki, whatever, to come out with... Uh, all the people's names that were in the episode because mm-hmm. I'm convinced that You're it's like, like uh, her younger no. sister or a cousin or something. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> that's, 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 that's all you. you. Uh, but Blaine in this, this episode. Lots of Blaine. Lots of Blaine. That's- I think that's leading into obviously we know that the the we're going to be seeing a lot of Blaine in in the very last episode which mm-hmm. is coming. Um now real quick question before we completely shift gears to Blaine it's kind of on the same topic though but the girl mm-hmm. I was just talking about um mm-hmm. in the leather we see her at the very end of the episode um mm-hmm. she goes to a motel. Um, yeah. somebody's been bumping off her her band members one by one but mm-hmm. we were under the impression that that was uh the zombie dude. Correct. But we saw Liv kill him. So, yeah. And she's still meeting up with somebody, and then she gets attacked, and she barely is able to dial 911. So, I'm curious, do you think that was Blaine that met her? I don't think so. No? I'm, I'm thinking we're, we're going to be introduced to something something else going on on the side. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, my brain was, you know, I think it's still, maybe it's... Is it mixed with the whole Max Rager stuff? Are they trying to cover things up? Do do they have more than one enforcer? I mean, they're a big company, and we know we we were introduced to the one enforcer who's ridiculously crazy, and now you know was a zombie until live you know shoved a carving knife into his forehead. But um, I couldn't see that they don't have more than one. Is that, you know, are they doing, a, you know, did they know that the whole zombie stuff is happening and maybe they're trying to cover it up? Or, because whatever this person does, is uh, he's obviously beaten his, these people to death. And they're not, obviously not, it's not a zombie because we know from the other previous uh, kid that the brain was still there. Right. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a zombie. It could just be somebody that's killing for a reason other than food. 
Because if, if Blaine's a supplier, he doesn't necessarily have to kill for, for food. Mm hmm I just don't, I don't, like, uh, personally, I don't think it's Blaine. I think we're seeing, or we're seeing an introduction of another serious, uh, 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 baddie. We'll, we'll go with that word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another villain. Yes. So that, that's, that's my opinion on it. Another antagonist. Oh. See, there's so many, so many cool words you can use. I like the word baddie. <laughs> You're a baddie. <laughs> You're um, a baddie. <laughs> You're the worst. You're the There's most words. worster. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. But, yes. But, so, so I guess... Can I just shake my head at Major? Three really major things happen this episode. One of them, pun intended. Um... <laughs> The first being <laughs> Peyton. Mm -hmm. Peyton has now been clued in on uh, zombies. Yeah, that was that was a big oh shit! <laughs> uh, wow, uh, I mean, she got to full witness. It wasn't just I'm telling you this. She got to see her zombie out, full red eyes, beating the living crap of an, out of another guy that who also was red eyed. You know, she, full stabbed a she stabbed a zombie with a knife that was already stabbed through her hand. Mm -hmm. And she still had a carving knife stuck in her side, which she yanked out while Peyton was watching the whole time. <laughs> Peyton's like, don't do that. She's yoink. How come you're not bleeding? I don't know. The way like Liv started explaining it was a little weird. She's like... Explaining all the intricacies before naming it. Mm -hmm. I would have just been like, hey, I'm a zombie. Remember that pool, you know, that boat party, beat lake party, whatever? She did it completely backwards. She's like, yeah, I went to this party and got scratched. And so that's how I got this way. But I'm like, she's got to be even more confused. Like, can't you just say that you're a zombie first? Like, like, get that out of the way. Can I see? Can I? Can I? I like, is is it the the women mentality? The woman, the woman mentality that I guess you do explain things before you get to the point. <laughs> I that's I would have done it the exact way she did it. Uh, I, I would have. I don't. I would have just um, like, look, I'm a zombie. This is how it happened. You you see, I'm me. You know all that, but she did that all backwards. So I I guess I mean it may not even be um like you're saying it, it's got to be a uh, personality more than than it is uh you, what sex you are <laughs> i don't i would have done it the same way i would have i she wanted to explain before she got to what she, what she was she wanted her to understand that this is how this happened don't freak out but this is what i am that's why she explained it the way she explained it i, I don't I mean, I don't get that at all, because she just witnessed it all. She already has the I don't understand part, so you better just fill her in immediately and then explain, because what's she going to do in the meantime? How do you know someone's going to be like, I'm a zombie, and that's the end of the conversation, because they're freaking out. And you don't get to explain how or why or what. I would you just, just turn on zombie mode and scare them to death, and they're not going anywhere until I'm done explaining. Yes, because that fixes it. Does. <sighs> Does. Fixes everything. So, anyway, regardless, Your world. <laughs> it didn't matter how she handled it because Peyton still left. True. We don't know where she went. Ravi can't even find her. They were supposed or to go Ravi. to see all the locations of her favorite movie, movie Vertigo. Um, he wore a nice suit. He looks so sad. Is Vertigo even a real movie? <laughs> it is. I've never seen it. And it was a comic. Oh, it's a 1958 film. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's the same one. It the one the cover that they're showing looks more more newer. Well, it might be. It might be a different cover cuz it's probably the that's probably the vintage one. Maybe.
Yeah, I think it was that one. Wasn't it the red one? No. Was it that one right there? No. I thought it was. Oh. Keep in mind, nobody can see what we're looking at right now. <laughs> no, we're just we're on Google, mm -hmm. talking about Google. Yep. So, uh, outside of that, we don't we don't really know where Peyton left went to. She just kind of fled. This is this is the the cover I was pulling up. That's clearly not the movie cover that they were looking at in the the film. So I don't know. Um, but we don't know where Peyton went. We don't know who she's going to tell, if anyone. You know, so I'm a little worried about that. But at the same time, I think she just needs some air, some space to think. I think so I don't too. Think she's going to do anything drastic. She doesn't seem like the type. Yeah, I don't think she's going to run off and just tell much. She is an attorney, so if she goes and starts blabbing, that's going to ruin her reputation. You know, mm -hmm. who's going to believe her? So, pretty sure she's going to be quiet. Um, yeah. Then we have Ravi, who found the cure for zombieism, if that's what we're going to call it, zombieism. Mm -hmm. But... And the rat it, died. It killed the rat. So we had a dead rat. Then we had a live rat. Which went from a white rat to a brown rat. And, and that is why it's the title. <laughs> yeah, except in opposite orders, which is dead rat, live rat, brown rat, white rat. Mm -hmm. Tongue twisters. Um, they could have just named it like dead, live, brown, white and we would have been like, what? <laughs> so, well, that's that's the reason why they didn't name it like that. So we would be confused. They should have. Because Astro Burger confused me for all of like three seconds. <laughs> that's a funny title, though. Come it on. Is. It is. So, <laughs> with this one, uh, Ravi's like, oh, maybe, you know, I used too much of a concentrated dose. Side effect is it killed the rat. Mm -hmm. The rat was alive for a little while after it changed. So, maybe he did use too strong of a dose so maybe he will find a cure we don't know he's he's trying again well we know it's going to be trial and error that's the way most of that stuff works and yeah. why they test on animals <laughs> but uh so yeah that's that's it's just gonna so we, we were postponing that whole because obviously we didn't we didn't think the cure was gonna happen that soon anyway yeah There's... but i mean it's still do you think we're gonna get the cure next episode this season I definitely know. Be, I definitely don't see it. an interesting way to, to leave us on a cliffhanger with the cure. No, I think it's definitely, we're going to, it's not going to be the cure. It's going to be something of the whole, with major, and, and now, you know, there's brothers involved. What, and, what if they weaponize it? What if Liv slips it to Blaine? Weaponize the door? Yeah, the, the poison cure. Or the cure poison. Mm -hmm. What if she slips it to, Bl to Blaine? Blaine <gasps> becomes human and then dies. Oh my god, I didn't even... Th Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> that I didn't even think about. Mm. So like I said, David Anders doesn't normally stick around very long on shows. <laughs> so... Would not I mean, be surprised to see him go as much as I don't want him to go. This is huh. like the first show that he's been on that I actually really like him on. Not that I disliked him on the other ones, but I was just... I've always been aggravated with him because every time I see him, I'm like, get off of my show because he's <laughs> on everything. I've seen you post that in Facebook. <laughs> I know. I, I think like the first time I saw him, he was in Heroes. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, uh, you know, he's on uh, Vampire Diaries. He's on... Uh, Once Upon a Time, he's on this, he's on uh, Arrow, He's he was everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. So. Um, this could be why we're being introduced to a possible new, new you know, villain. Could be. It's because we're going to be losing the, the old one. Which, I, I agree with you, I'm sad about that. Because I really like his character. Mm -hmm. I really like, you know... 
but I mean, I'm still interested to see this new, you know, what are they going to go with this new villain? Or is it, I mean, obviously we're going to figure out something. We're obviously, it's, they're not going to just leave it at that. I mean, they ended it like that on purpose. Right. So what's going to happen next? I mean, we often, we've never, we don't know who this person is. We don't know anything about this person. We don't even, we didn't even see the, the other last bandmate. I mean, we know that this person used, or if it is the, you know, the other bandmate, used, you know, them to get to, to the others. How many bandmates but were there? There were four. Three. Well, four. Well, no, there were three. Two were dead, was, and the other was dead. The, left for dead. Well, we don't know. We don't know if the other one's dead. Well, yeah. No. Did she say that? They were, well, we never saw him. We never saw him dead. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking the cheerleader. No, so the cheerleader... The cheerleader died. Died. The, the, the one in the... um. The room, the garage, whatever, yeah. the storage unit died. Yeah. And then the girl, the which girl was left for dead. Dying, yeah, and then the other one. guy. Yeah, okay, so yeah, there is that other guy. Yeah. So, is this a different person, or is it that, you know, that last bandmate? Right. Hmm. Um, or is that last, we, need, we know we did, we saw blood on the bed when she entered the room. Right, that's true, so, too. Is he also dead? We just didn't see, and this isn't a whole another person. Could be. I mean, it could be the, the murderer guy killed him and didn't completely kill him. Didn't like smash the brain and mm -hmm. he just turned. He's still alive. So, because mm -hmm. um, um, I know we were speculating a couple episodes back about how if uh, Liv was the only one, you know, that had the, the oversoul, undersoul kind of theme that they use from the comics if they mm -hmm. all, like, gain abilities from eating brains. Mm -hmm. And the only other one we had seen at the time when we were discussing it was Lol. And we're like, okay, yeah. well, maybe Lol is also like her and has the oversoul, undersoul. But then I realized this episode, not only did the murderer guy, um, was he was talking about, oh, you know, he had, he ate his... Aunt, aunt and got her cooking skills and you know all that kind of stuff but it was the whole this is the whole reason why uh blaine was selling the astro burgers in the first place is because yeah. people wanted the the feeling of being on the moon mm -hmm. so it's obviously a it's, that is a widespread yeah. zombie thing yeah to, it's completely to... different from how it's done in the comics mm -hmm. so and we knew that that's usually how they go that they're gonna trail off into their own their own thing a little bit um, and that's but, not necessarily a bad thing, because no. um, you have the, the Vampire Diaries, the the books are like a complete 180 from what the, the TV show is, and mm -hmm. I honestly, I haven't read the books, but I think the, the TV show is much, much better than the books from the, I read a lot of the synopsises from the books, and, and from what I've gathered, the TV show is doing way better than the books ever did. Yeah, I never, I have not read those ones uh, in the case of, like, I've, I had all of the True Blood books, and I did, I read the books before I even started watching the show, and in that case, I think the books are actually yeah, got the, a little bit better, something going for the them. Sookie than Stackhouse, yeah. yeah, that series is much better than the, the TV show. Oh, yeah. I, I, better. I barely made it through the second season of True Blood before I had to stop, because it just wasn't doing the books justice. The books mm -hmm. were way better. But yeah, um, the comics we know is, uh, it went for two ish, like two seasons of issues you know whatever here um so i mean i get it went you know to publish for two years whatever so um they clearly have to go in a different direction from where the comics were going if they want this tv show to continue on we already know it's going on for a second season mm -hmm. so you know we have all that and second season looks like it's going to be even more interesting than this season um because we're left with uh, this big, big thing now. Major mm -hmm. is kidnapped. Blaine, or the Candyman, I should say, got him. Suspects Major of stealing the uh, the Astro Burgers. But you did. <laughs> you know, he did. He was because uh, they had that moment where Blaine was like, you know, what did, what does his hair have to do with anything when they're describing the health inspector when mm -hmm, you know, yeah crept in there. Yeah, he picked up saw, on that. You saw, like, a light bulb go yeah. on in his head, and he's like, ah, hold on. So he we went and kidnapped him, and he goes, I think I got both the people you were looking for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Major's being, uh, 
held hostage, and I know in the preview for next week we see Major uh, being stored in the freezer alive. <laughs> but, you know, he's he's on ice. And uh, the end of the episode, uh, Liv's brother. Uh, what's his name? Evan. Evan. Uh, comes in. And he's like, yeah, I just want to drop off this uh, application. And uh, Blaine's like, yeah, this is kind of a bad time. <laughs> you know, until... Oh, wait, you're Liv's brother. Liv I the, uh, Liv the works of the morgue, right? Yeah. So... <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Oh. Not only does Blaine have Major, which he does not know is Liv's ex-boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Or ex fiance, I should say. Um, but now he has Liv's brother. Mm hmm. So things are not going to go well. I'm very curious uh, to see how Liv is going to react to all this. Um, well, what do you think she's going to do? I don't know. There's a lot of shit hitting the fan in her world right now. I mean, she's got, you know, Peyton now knowing that she's a zombie. And disappeared. She's got, you know, I mean, right now she doesn't know what's going on with Major. Other than she knew that he's like, oh, zombies are real. I'm going to kill all of them. So that was enough you know, stress there. And then he goes missing. She's going to immediately. With a machine gun, a handgun, and a grenade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the grenade. <laughs> the grenade was funny. I love Ooh. that look on his face. I like, know. Oh, do you want to, do you have any use for a grenade? It's just his eyebrow perks up. It's like, hmm. Hmm. Um, so I, I think she's going to pick up, you know, once she realizes that he's missing, that that's, I think she's going to pick up that Blaine has him quickly. Uh, now where her brother comes into play, I don't know. Obviously. Blaine has something special planned correct. for him. Now, my thought, you know, I said a few while episodes back when we first got the introduction of him, you know, with the, that his, her mom in there and getting the application that he was going to use her brother against him, against her, excuse me. Blech. Right. And I definitely still sit with that. I definitely think that that's where, that he's going to, that's what he's going to do. But now, does he turn her brother into a zombie? Is Major going to becoming a zombie? These are the big possibilities that could be happening here towards, you know, the end of the episode. Um, but I think they'd be better off dead than zombies in the eyes of Blaine. Mm -hmm. Well, if Major is continuing as a big character, I don't see him becoming a zombie. Yeah, I don't either. But... Uh, I don't see... I, I honestly don't think I see either of them being killed. I will be surprised, to be honest. Yep. Maybe not so much her brother, but I don't see Major going anywhere. Yeah, the brother, we haven't seen much of him, so we're not super attached to him, so I could see them mm -hmm. killing him off. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think Major's going to end up being all right. I think Major has a plan. I don't think he went in there, got captured uh, for the hell of it. I think mm -hmm. he's got something planned. Because Blaine wants to know, oh, where are my things or whatever. So mm -hmm. he could lead them right to like his gun safe house and just blow him away when he gets there. That could be part of his plan. That yeah, maybe that's a possibility. But definitely right now Major has a loophole. I mean, right now he has the brains. He's the only one who knows where they're at. So until he speaks up about that, Blaine has to kinda of keep him alive. Yeah, exactly. Um, so let's take a look at the synopsis for next week. Next week is called Blaine's World, which is obviously the finale. Uh, Liv faces a tough decision. After discovering new evidence in the Max Rager case, Liv and Clive pay a visit to Vaughn du Clark at Max Rager headquarters. Ravi continues his search for a cure. Meanwhile, Blaine makes Liv an offer she can't refuse. And finally, Major finds himself in an unbelievable situation. Dun, dun, that, that's that's dun, so, dun. so not vague at all. <laughs> it's the opposite of vague. Uh, again, I think that that plays into that. He's gonna use her brother. Oh yeah. Well, we called that kind of like 
six episodes ago, yeah, whatever, when the mother yeah. picked the application up. I don't remember how long ago that was, but it I think it was the, the mid-season finale somewhere. But now he can also use, you know, possibly use Major, you know, if if that come that information comes out. The episode was maternity Liv. The reason I remember this is because that's the last time we saw Liv's mother. So. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, he it's possible that Liv shows up. Blaine's going to use, you know, the, the, the brother as, as, as a thing, and then he sees Major. And it becomes this thing, and then Major finds out that she's a zombie, too. Could be. I think Major's going to find out regardless. I think Peyton's going to come into play. Um, she's gonna, um, she's Spill gonna have, have, end up helping. Mm-hmm. I don't think she's gonna end up being a zombie, though. I don't think so. No, I don't see that happening. I do see her coming back. I do see her after some thought process, because, you know, I don't think she's, she's smart. She isn't, you know, um, I'm trying to like her character a little bit more. <laughs> right. Uh, I do think that you're right that she needed some air. She needed to think about what was, you know, going on, think about all the situations and think about what's been going on since, you know, the, the boat incident. now that she knows that's when it happened. And I think she's going to realize, you know, you are still my friend. You're still the person, you know, that I've been around all this time. And she's going to come back and she's going to ask, you know, she's going to ask like a billion questions. I, I see that, you know, happening. Yep. But. Yeah, Maternity Live was uh, episode 7, so... Okay. It's, it's pretty close to the mid-season. Hmm. So. Um, oh, I think that about wraps it up. you have anything else? No, that was that was pretty much everything we covered. Yeah. So, so. Uh, I'm looking very forward to the finale. Me, uh, too. Compared to uh, a lot of the other shows that we watch and stuff, this, this is a very short show, 13, mm-hmm. 13 episodes. It's kind of like a half season. Most shows have their mid-season at like 12 or 13, mm-hmm. and this one just went to 13. So the show really kind of just snuck in, and I'm curious, do you think uh, they're going to keep it a 13-episode format for next season, or do you think uh, we're, we're going to see possibly a full extension of 22 episodes next season? I don't know. Um, I think it would depend on what you know what's going on. I honestly, I think the thirteen for this season did well. I think it it worked for the storyline uh, because if they got too many, we'd get too many fluff episodes. I think. Exactly. And so I think, I think the thirteen is good. I think it's good just the way it is. I agree. Uh, so B, where can the people find you? At H U F F I T Y P U F F I T Y. And where else? Uh, that's about it. <laughs> oh, I totally didn't think about that. Uh, it's Bria dot Carbonmade dot com. How do you spell that? Carbonmade. No. <laughs> Was it? Oh, B E I R A. There you go. B E I R A dot Carbon Made dot com. Oh. Yeah, go there. That's not confusing at all. Um, <laughs> you can find me at Phenomenon, P H E N O M E D O M dot Carbon Made dot. No, I'm kidding. Scream. Um, <laughs> You can also find us and others on Facebook, Gmail, G+, Twitter, <laughs> and right here on YouTube at slash ASOTV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Until next week for the season finale. Woo woo. We'll see you later. Bye. I'm back home in the morgue. <laughs> I had to eat that whole website thing for you, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Huh? What happened? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.